the dad of Olivia and Carter, two teenagers who started OMG. So Jim, would you like to tell us just quickly in a nutshell, how did you get started and what is OMG all about? Sure. One More Generation, or OMG, was started by Carter and Olivia when they were seven and eight years old. And they did it because they realized that a lot of species on this planet are, are going to be extinct before they even have kids. And that got them concerned. So they wanted to raise more awareness to kids all over the world how we need to get involved and try to save these species for at least one more generation and beyond. And since they started the organization, they've been involved in several different areas. It started out all animal conservation. Then the Gulf oil spill happened in America where we had this horrific oil spill in the Gulf. And they got involved with the animal rescue efforts there. But while they were there helping out with the animal rescue efforts, they learned that environmental issues like the oil spill or even issues like plastic pollution are a bigger threat to animals than most people realize. So we've now added another component to our organization, which is environmental education. And we teach kids about things like climate change, ocean acidification, plastic pollution, and give them ideas on what they can do to try to make a difference as well. And then since the six years they've been doing this, they've also added a third division, which is youth empowerment. And that's where we want to show kids that it's great to be involved with us, try to help animals maybe in a distant country, or get involved with big global issues like plastic pollution that are truly global. But you can also do things in your own hometown, wherever you live. So we ask kids and encourage kids to get involved with feeding the homeless, collecting canned foods or blankets, and try to do something on a local level as well. And that's their main goal. So one more generation's number one message is anybody can make a difference. We can, you can too. Brilliant. That's amazing. Yeah. And what's your advice to parents to bring up these awesome kids? Like Thank you. And I get that a lot. People say, oh, your kids are amazing. But yeah. honestly, Carter and Libby are like every other kid out there. They really are. And I, I appreciate the compliment. But everywhere we go and we speak, we see Carter and Libya's in every audience that we go to. So my number one message to adults is listen to your kids. Because I know that when Carter and Libby were passionate about animals, they had come to myself and my wife several times and told us that we just didn't hear it. You know, we all have jobs to do, and we have to get, get the kids to piano lessons and soccer and everything. We're just so busy, we're caught up in our lives. But we don't always hear them. And I remember the day that Olivia told me, Daddy, I want to save um, cheetahs for my, for my kids. Wow. And, I, and that was the day I heard it. That's amazing because you believe in their dream. You don't yeah. say it's impossible, but you right. say, let's stop. And you yes. encourage. Yes. Amazing. And, and if you listen to your kids, and we tell kids, the number one message we give to kids, tell every adult that you're in contact with over and over what your passion is. Whether it's your mom, your mom and dad, teachers, it doesn't matter. Tell that person over and over and over because eventually they're going to say, you keep bringing that up. Tell me more about it because they're impressed that you keep bringing that up. And that's how you're going to get the first step started and, and trying to make a difference for yourself and Brilliant. Such an amazing message. Yeah. Amazing. Very, very inspiring. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Thanks so for having much. me on your show. <laughs> <laughs> great show. Uh, great show. That's right. <laughs>